This video is on normal distribution. In today's video, here is the problem. If x is a normal variate with mean 30 and standard deviation 5. See here, mean is 30 and standard deviation is 5. And next, find the probabilities that 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40 and x greater than or equal to 45. And see here, in this solution, first of all, what is given? So, mean mu is given as 30. And the standard deviation sigma is given as 5. So, this is the basic thing. And see here, we have to find the probability for 26 less than x less than 40. That is probability of 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40. See, first of all, I am taking x value as 26. See here, I am keeping x1 value as 26. And our formula here is z is equal to this is x minus mu by sigma. So, if I substitute here, so this will be what is our x value? 26. What is our mu value? This is 30 by sigma is 5. And see here, this is 26. This is 26 minus 30 divided by 5. The value here is minus 0 0.8. So, we got, see here, if you consider this as uh, Z1, so Z1 value is equal to minus 0 0.8. And see, if you observe this one, so if you take this, this is X1 and this is X2. So, if you consider X2 value is equal to 40. And again, if I substitute in the same formula that Z is equal to X minus mu by sigma. So, if I substitute, what is our X value here? So, x2 value is equal to 40 minus mu. The mean value here is 30 and sigma value is equal to 5. So, this is nothing but this is 40 minus 30 divided by 5. The value here is 2. 10 by 2. This is 2. So, we got the value of uh, z2 as 2. Therefore, z2 is equal to See here z2 is equal to 2. 2 is the value. Now we have to plot this graph. See here as you know that. So this is the normal graph. And this is x is equal to mu. Or if you represent this value is equal to z is equal to 0. See here. The left hand side is negative part. And this is right hand side is a positive part. And see z1 is equal to minus 0 0.8. So negative part this is minus 0 0.8. This is the z1 value. And next z2 value is equal to so it might be 1 and this is 2. z is equal to 2. So this is the region which is needed. So I am shading this one. So this shaded region value we need. So, for the shaded region value, we need the probability value that is probability of the first question is 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40. So, which I am transforming into z axis that is for 26. For 26, what is the value that is minus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 less than or equal to z and for 40, the value here is 2. Z2 is equal to 2. So, this is the z value so now we have to find out the area so area is nothing but probability of z2 plus z that is probability of z2 plus probability of this is z1 so what is probability of z2 that is probability of 2 plus probability of minus 0 0.8 as i said you earlier that negative area won't be there that is in for normal distribution, probability of minus A is again positive A. That is probability of 2 plus probability of plus 0 0.8. I will show you the values here. So, the probability of 2 is nothing but 0 0.2 under 2. That is 0 0.4772. That is 0. Point, this is 4772 and 0 0.8 under 0. So, this is 0 0.8 under 0. See here, 0 0.8 under 0 is 0 0.2881. That is 0 point, this is 2881. So, if I add this, the value will be 0 0.7653. Therefore, the probability of, therefore, the probability of 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40 value is 0 0.7653. So, this is how we have to draw the figure. These are the values and see the second question is 
x greater than or equal to 45. See here, x value is equal to. So, this is solution 2. For solution 2, so we have to find out the area for x greater than or equal to 45. Again, mean is given as 30 and standard deviation is given as. See here, from the question, the standard deviation is equal to 5. So, for x is equal to 45. So, for x is equal to 45, what is a z? formula in terms of z z is equal to x minus mu by sigma that is x minus mu by sigma so z value is equal to what is our x value x is equal to this is 45 mu is equal to 30 by 5 so if i use this one 7.5 will be the answer that is 45 minus 30 divided by 2 so this value is equal to this is 7.5 sorry so this is 15 by 5 this value is 3 see here so this so divided by 5 the value here is 3 so this is 3 so z value we got as 3 now we have to find out the probability of x greater than or equal to 45 so if i transform in terms of z so this will be greater than or equal to 3 see how we have to plot this figure so for plotting this figure as it is a bell figure or normal diagram so so this is the figure and this is through positive axis and this is a negative axis see here for z is equal to 0 so it is equal to 1 2 and 3 so here I am plotting this one 1, 2 and 3. So this is z is equal to 3. So it is great. Z value is greater than. So z value is greater than 3. So it will be till infinity. So now we have to find out this area. The shaded area till minus infinity. Instead of finding this area. I am just simply calculating. So the total half is nothing but 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Now, instead of calculating this one, that is probability of z greater than or equal to 3 can be done as 0 0.5 minus z is equal to the probability or area for z is equal to 3. Area for z is equal to 3. So, if I subtract from the whole 0 0.5 from 3, I will be getting this area. So, this is 0 0.5 minus 3.0 under 0. See here. 3.0 under 0 is 0 0.4987. This is 0 0.4987. The value here is 0 0.4987. See, this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4987. The value here is, this is 0 0.0013. The value here is 0 0.0013. Therefore, we got the area for z greater than or equal to 3 is 0 0.0013. So, this is how we have to plot the figure and we have to find the z value for x is equal to 45. This is a simple formula which you have to remember and this is so easy. So, the mean value is 30 and sigma is equal to 5. For x is equal to 26, z value is minus 0 0.8. For x is equal to 40, the z is equal to 2. For negative region, we have to plot this side and for, for positive part, we have to plot this side. And we have to find the area for the shaded area. So, so this is that. That is the probability of uh, the area of z2 plus area of uh, z3 area of z2 plus z3 that is area of 2 plus area of 0 0.8 and therefore area of 2 and area of 0 0.8 we got from the figure that is 0 0.7653 and this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and staying till the end